I guess it's the reference to Shadow. I, I, I don't know. I, there's I don't, too much Sonic lore. Shadow in the game, man? I feel like you should I don't be. want Shadow in the game. <laughs> you don't want another Sonic, huh? Ima Well, imagine Sonic, but with a gun. Uh, <laughs> yes, of course. The, the patented gun that Shadow possesses. Forgot about that. <laughs> Forgot about that one. Here comes Rat, though, finding two up airs. Horus Troubles, a dash attack as well. Kobe trying to get out of this corner and does find his way back to center, pulling out the bomb. Throwing the projectiles here. We'll see that a lot, I think, out of the Young Link in this matchup. Oh, interesting trade there, and it's going to go Kobe's way as he's able to react first and get that grab out in time. Slight percent lead, but uh, strap in, ladies and gentlemen. We're in for the long haul. Yep, exactly. We will be in this for the long haul for sure. I do believe these two will certainly be slowing down the pace a little bit because it is Sonic's or Sonic and Young Link. I always make that mistake. We're so used to saying I'm Sonic so when we see Sonic it. on screen, but uh, Wrath, of course, one of the best Sonic players in the world okay. in his own right and demonstrating yes. it right there. Wrath is an excellent pilot of this character for sure. And, you know, he's a, he's the more, at least in Georgia, the more OG he's been around mm -hmm. and playing Sonic for a very, very long time. Yep. OG, of course. Character specialist in Sonic and... We already see the gameplay coming out with that first stock from Wrath here. Kobe has to find some way to make it in on this little blue ball because it's looking real difficult. Dash attack here is going to put Kobe off stage. Wrath in prime position to do a lot of damage, if not even take the stock. What a beautiful dodge. Wrath, knowing Kobe would neutral get up and go for that down tilt to try and pop him up. And so just short hops right over it and pours on some more damage. Mm-hmm. Slowly Wrath getting to get some extra credit on. Nice Nair to get even more damage there. I like that optimal combo from Wrath. The dash attack as well. Kobe using, utilizing the early uppy to get some more damage onto Wrath, but it, it's not going to matter much if you can't find this stock last. Yeah, damage feels like it stops mattering once your opponent has this much of a lead. You need stocks, not damage. Yeah, exactly. Kobe now has him stuck in the corner, but does it really matter? Yes, it does actually, because he finds the neutral B into the confirm, finds the Nair, and Kobe, even though he has 100%, he has a chance to bring this back. Homing attack going to get him straight in there, right past the arrows and the other projectiles that Kobe is throwing towards Wrath. And Wrath, you know, he's got a stock lead, he's got a massive percent lead, he's just going to play this game. He's gonna wait for Kobe to make mistakes and approach through those mistakes. Mm -hmm. Okay, here comes the grab from Kobe, racking up some damage, finding that up air. And that spin dash actually clanks with the boomerang, unfortunately for Kobe, and Wrath actually dipped down there to make sure that forward air would hit. Very smart movement from Wrath. Beautifully played. Now Kobe onto his final stock of the first game. This is the player that put light in losers. Trying to make his way the rest of the way in top eight. Mm -hmm. The Wrath looking to stop that. You know, maybe even uh, maybe thanking Kobe a little bit. He doesn't have to play uh, light in Sonic exactly, Fox. Exactly, yeah. Might be a little bit easier to fight the Young Link just due to tear gap exclusively. But Kobe's still trying to make their way in on this Sonic. But Wrath is just not giving him many opportunities. Finally have something going here. But gets the shield out in time. And even though Kobe finds a hit here and there, it's not leading into enough to a stock. Not really going to be able to get anything here in the corner as Wrath just fights his way out or disengages okay. whenever oh. something starts going wrong. But Kobe, he's still getting these nickel and dime hits. Mm -hmm. Wrath connects into the back air. Kobe's off stage. The spring connects, and that is going to be the game. No. Not quite. Able to snap the ledge just barely. Kobe with a second lease on life. For how long can you hold on to this stock against Wrath here? Kobe throwing out the boomerang, throwing out the projectile, and Wrath is just taken to the skies. He says, you can't hit me way up here, but the forward air not quite going to do it, but at a bad spot. Can Wrath make it back to center? Where are we going? Uh, Ooh. down. Wrath spin charging okay. out of the corner. Kobe just gets that up grab, throw. though. Up throw here might not kill. Good yeah, DI. it's not enough. Wrath just holding onto the stock for dear life, even though he doesn't really need it. Mm-hmm. Why not? It's about the principle. Yeah, I've got a stock to play with. I might as well take this seriously and maintain it. I'm not going to play with my food. This is for winner's side top eight. It's so Wrath doing his darndest to maintain this stock, not over-aggress onto Kobe and give him a chance to come back into it. Shutting it down. Spin it's just, dash uh, through. Yeah, Wrath just has all the time in the world. Mm -hmm. Look for this critical hit. 
Oh, oh, and that's not it. He falls out of F tilt. I'm surprised. There we go. This time. This time it works. Mm -hmm. Finding that second F tilt. Wrath going up in game one. And like I said last, this is going to be a slower pace because it is Sonic versus Young Link. And these characters often don't approach as much as some other characters that we've seen so far in this bracket. So we're going to see if Kobe can make something happen in game two. But... Wrath was shutting it down in that last game, man. Yeah, it was a two-stock, but a nearly five-minute two-stock. And that is emblematic of just how this matchup goes. Wrath was winning by a lot, but he had to do it slowly. Yep. Slow and steady wins the race. That's for sure. Young Link, once again, not going to see a switch up. Wrath, of course, on the Sonic once again. He's got the little Sonic necklace. One thing about Sonic players, they always they have love the Sonic, Sonic. merch. Don't they just always have the Sonic? They, they, they're they like, people that play Sonic are fans of Sonic, I swear. Like, every single one that I've seen always has the merch going. Wrath with the Sonic drip, of course, if you can call it that. And once again on PS2 here, Kobe maintaining center with that bomb in hand. But does maintaining center really matter all that much versus Sonic in particular with the way that he plays? It really just depends on, like, what you're trying to do. If you're a, you're a certain archetype of characters, like a Corrin, for example, if you're able to like kind of put a bubble up around you and say this is my space and if you enter it you will die mm -hmm. that's really good to maintain center with but if you're a faster character like a fox or maybe an aegis then no you're just going to be chasing him around he's going to be chasing you around position on the stage doesn't matter quite as much mm -hmm. exactly We've barely seen any percentages being racked up so far down air from kobe isn't going to connect and Wrath, once again, business as usual beneath this right platform. Kobe swing with that dash attack is going to find a punish, but a little bit of a clank action there happening, and the upbeat from Kobe will connect onto Wrath, and once again, back to neutral. Kobe trying to make his way in on Sonic. Okay, spin dashing through the forward air connection from Kobe. Center stage. Once again, it's just that the the chip damage that Kobe's having to rely on because Wrath is able to escape so proficiently from every single thing that he tries to trap him in. Yep. Kobe's not able to get the same type of conversion that he was getting earlier. Mm -hmm. And that bomb not paying out for Kobe as well. He hang hung on to it for just a little bit too long and Wrath slowly encroaching on this stock. 138. Even more with the F tilt. Now edge guard situation. Electing for the spring. Trying to set something up but once again, spin dashing through, and it looks so hard for Youngling to deal with Sonic in this matchup. Looking for this ledge trap on him. Kobe, jump, air dodge, gets him down okay. safely enough. It works out, and he's, you know, maybe in the driver's seat for a little bit longer. Yep. Even though, even when you're in the driver's seat against Sonic, though, it feels like he gets out of disadvantage so frequently, so easily with the movement options that he has at his disposal. Okay, Perry on the boomerang into the Center F tilt. Center stage two almost kills. Oh, he Don't has the bomb, yeah. but homing attack is right there. The coverage. You no, know, that was dangerous from Wrath. We've seen enough uh, Sonic <laughs> clips of homing attack not functioning. Mm -hmm. Send you straight into that right side, perhaps. But luckily for Wrath, aims it correctly and able to find that stock onto Kobe. And I feel like two minutes have passed since these first stocks have been found. But Kobe already doing a better job in game two, finding that stock and finding a grab. My goodness. If they keep playing this slow last, we might go to time. Just long stretches where no hits are, are dealt. We are three minutes in, fresh two stocks. Mm -hmm. If that pace keeps up, like you said, yep. it's time easy. Wrath comes through with a dash attack. Kobe once again planning that sword onto the stage, but homing attack is going to connect, and now we're just trying to find a strong hit, but it's once again that back and forth, that hit for hit. No big strings are being confirmed currently in the matchup. Even the trade is coming through. Kobe with the bomb in hand, able to make his way back, holding the shield. And the bomb actually helps him a lot with getting out of the corner there. Mm -hmm. Kobe's able to keep this close, and for the first time in a while, takes the percent lead away. Yeah, this is a chance here for Kobe. I like how he catches the bomb once again with that forward air covering so much space, but Wrath 
breaking through the defenses of Kobe, sending him off that right side, looking for the back air and the footstool. I believe that was unintentional, but regardless, working out here, and that down tilt safe enough for the grab not to connect. That was a great grab, looking for a forward throw. It's not gonna be kill, or enough to kill just yet. Throwing up the bomb, setting up a ledge trap is Kobe. But Wrath is just gonna spin right on through. As Sonic players tend to do. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Spin to win, clanks through that fire arrow. Pops him up with the Nair, but too high percent to get the follow-up, so just has to try and shark him under the platform and does not do so successfully. Okay. Into the Nair again, but Kobe holding on. Yeah, Kobe holding on to this stock, and he needs to. If Rath finds the stock, you already know the vibes. Last, see what oh. can do, and there it is. Up a stock, you know the vibes. Here we are. 2.30, count it down. Yep, got to be careful. There's a lot of time here for Rath to play with if he wants to go for the timeout, but... Kobe has racked on enough percent here. I think we'll see a last stock situation. Well, that is assuming that Kobe can get in again long enough to kill. Mm -hmm. Working on it. We'll have to see arrows. about that. Yep, we will. Here comes Wrath, though, finding a confirm into the forward air. Spin dashing right on through. But there we go, finding that neutral B into the up air. A bread and butter for Kobe that we've seen time and time again so far in top 32. And now, I don't think the timeout, eh, well, maybe actually. 145? Is that enough time last? What do you think? We'll have to see. I mean, it's taken on average three minutes per stock. Mm -hmm. So by, by that metric, no, it's not enough time. We'll Kobe with the percent lead, though. Yep. That homing attack is going to hit the platform and enough time to find a punish. Whiffing a homing attack is like whiffing a smash attack in this game with how laggy it is. Okay. Unless you get the weird cancel version that mm -hmm. you can get sometimes. Very true. Oh, Ooh. I like that. Single hit up air. Try to confirm it into a nair, but unfortunately not going to pan out too much for Wrath there. But has the bomb in hand. Just tucks it away. He says, I don't want to deal with this. I'll throw it right away. Pops him up, but again, Kobe just doing his darndest to maintain this percent lead. Mm -hmm. Now he's the one with the lead. He's the one who's going to just run away and put up a wall of projectiles. Oh, that was the weak hit up there, unfortunately. But there we go. Oh, not quite. I thought the forward air might confirm after the throw there from Kobe, but just barely not connecting. Still, though, a solid percent lead from Kobe, throwing out the nair, stuffing out these spin dashes. And there we go. The air dodge given away from Wrath. And great up tilt from Kobe, recognizing that that air dodge was coming. Kobe brings it all the way back. Takes game number two and brings us all the way even. Great play by him, especially on the last stock. Once he got that uh, established win condition of the timer, he forced Wrath to play his game for once instead of him having to play Wrath's. Wrath just running through and into all those projectiles. Kobe was able to find plenty of confirms and eventually turned it into the stock in the game. Yep. Keeping it competitive here, Kobe. Looking very, very good in that game two situation. Closing out that last stock. Let's we'll see what we can do for game three here. Are we going to change the stage, you think? Or are we going to go back to PS2? We've been seeing a lot of PS2 today. That decision is on Wrath, as he is the one who lost the previous game. He's going to be afforded the uh, the privilege of counter pick. Mm -hmm. Thinking about our options here, really considering. Taking some time. You have a little bit of time to think about what you might do in your next game. There we go, locked it in. Getting into game three here. Once again, a winner's side top eight qualifier here. Whoever wins this will go on to fight who last? Uh, this will be for uh, going up against Jazzo. Yes. So another Georgia player. <laughs> yeah, regardless. <laughs> Um, we'll have one Georgia player in every set of winners top eight, maybe even beyond. Shout out to Georgia. They're very, very proud of the region. Mm -hmm. Very solid region for sure. Very entertaining to watch as well, I would say. Kobe trying to defeat the Georgia, the Georgia menace right now as they are taking over top eight. Yeah, Rath for sure, like a, a, a member of the the big boys yes. here in Georgia and has been. For, you know, maybe even longer than uh, than some of the, the people in this bracket and in this top eight have been alive. Absolutely, but on the flip side of things, Kobe, a veteran of the Florida scene as well. So this is a battle battle of two veterancies, I would say. So far, Kobe getting the better of the percent lead right now, but for how long with the way that Wrath is coming in, finding these forward airs? 
I'm right, just thinking connections. how crazy it is that Wrath might have been playing Brawl at a professional level when Wilds was born. That's crazy. How old is Wilds? Wilds is like 16, 15. Got, yeah, gotta be pretty young. Uh, Wrath's been doing it up in the biggest of ways for the longest of times. Exactly. Okay. Alongside the likes of the, you know, the other Georgia legends like you know, Fatality, Sonito, Scat. Mm -hmm. Oh, Scat's a, Scat's a name I haven't heard in a we while. We saw him earlier today. He really? was pushing light. Good stuff to Scat. Well played. Okay. Kobe still maintaining this lead. That's bot dodge to avoid the neutral B. Kobe has to make their way back, fading back a little bit just to make sure they could snap the ledge safely. And landing on that platform with the down air. Spin dash cancel from Wrath, avoiding that situation from Kobe. Not wanting to give away any freebies. And there's a spin dash into the forward air. But the up tilt, once again, we've seen that for the last stock, the last game, and it's working out for Kobe in this game as well. First okay. stock goes his way, a potential refrag. I don't think he has bomb pulled fast he does, enough. He does. He actually burned the, wow. he burned the air dodge all the way out there in the blast zone, so we had enough Nothing time, mattered. but it didn't matter at all because the F-tilt from Wrath will find its mark. Either way, it was a good recovery from Kobe, but an even better edge guard from Wrath. All right, great punish. Wrath reacting to that air dodge, finding that grab into the up air, the dash attack, catching the tech chase situation on that platform, racking up more damage. Kobe, even though they found the first stock of the set, I think Wrath is now in control. That's something that Wrath does so well. A momentary lapse in defense is all it takes for all that hard work to slip right through your fingers like sand through a scythe. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Wrath once again dashing from side to side. Slide to the left, slide to the right. Cha-cha real smooth, you know? Back and forth here for Wrath. Kobe trying to aggress here. All right, last chance to get funky. <laughs> There misses, and Wrath's going to be able to cross up shield and get a much larger punish. Mm -hmm. Spring ride. Nair bear? No, not quite. Yeah, almost, though. You knew what he was looking for, but catches the air dodge. Kobe with the recognition, throwing up the bomb, setting up a ledge trap, and catches him with a double bomb combination there, but not going to be enough to kill just yet. Have to get out of this corner if you're Wrath. He does make it out, and that Nair has enough time to punish Kobe from getting the kill, but there's the oh. forward air from Wrath. Great call out and it all goes away the big lead that Kobe built up he's gonna have to do so much work to get it back now because up a stock you, you know, know the vibes, vibes. Let's see what Kobe can do here we saw this last game and Kobe was able to bring it all the way back but right now Wrath made it look difficult I don't think we have our oh, jump and it, it yep. is gonna be enough the edge guard with the spring from Wrath will seal out game three and up two games to one on Kobe one game away from another top eight finish. Yep. For George's very own. We'll see if he can do it here and now, or if maybe he needs a game five to push it. Yep, we've seen Kobe take players to game five before, and he can certainly do it again. We know he has it in him, but man, it is so difficult. Something to be said about the mental battle against Sonic with the way that Sonic plays Smash. He doesn't play it like a traditional Smash character. You are you have to be increasingly patient as the set goes on and on. And can Kobe maintain that? That is the question. Absolutely. And only one person knows the answer, and it's, well, it's not Wrath. It'll have to be Kobe. Wrath knows what his game plan is. It hardly ever changes. That's what Sonic is all about, mm -hmm. doing his thing and doing it better than anybody else. We'll see. As we get into this game four, it's all up to Kobe to figure out how to break this stride. Yep, he's figured it out before. Can he do it again in game four? That's the question. The rain coming through. Oh, unfortunately takes some damage from the bomb there, but finds a back air into the dash attack. That'll be 25% for Kobe to start us off. And we've seen Kobe get some solid percent, usually on the first stock. It's just the last two stocks that usually give him trouble. But he gets this slight percent lead, and it's time to put up the wall. He might not be as strong at it as a character like Steve, but he can certainly, you know, simulate that style of mm -hmm. game plan with all these projectiles and a great rapid jab yep. at a shield. Interesting option that Kobe picked, but I think it was his highest damaging option that was guaranteed to connect. Yeah, I think so, too. I think that jab was definitely the best option for Kobe in that situation. 
Okay, be careful though, don't want to dip too close don't get to edge that guarded. blast zone. Yes, we know what happened last game. The spring can definitely edge guard, but Wrath oh, aggressing no. on the Kobe. He's too slow off the stage. He's air dodging to get the bomb recovery back. I don't even think the bomb was enough. Uh, yeah, he's uh, still not, not going to get back. The Raft sent him so far off stage with the second spring. Mm -hmm. That's first stock gone in only a minute. Maybe world record pace. Mm -hmm. Yeah, world record pace for this matchup, that's for sure, last. Okay, here we go. Spin dash cancel into the down air. One pass. Kobe, once again, the onus is on him to approach this speedy hedgehog. And once you approach the hedgehog, he just swats you away. The overshoot from Kobe looking to find Wrath slipping on the stage, but he is not slipping at all, it seems like, in the current moment. And there we go. Finding oh, he should be the B. stock. Into the up B, yes, that stock will go the way of Kobe and not too much damage tacked on. Trying to tack on some more though for sure. Kobe looking for that Z drop of the bomb and Wrath just harrying him. He's like a fighter jet when mm -hmm. he's in this mode. Exactly. Back and forth and back and forth. Homing attack gonna put Kobe in the corner and a second one will keep him there. Looking for a cross up grab potentially to set up for an edge guard again, but Wrath will find his way to put you off stage. It's just a matter of when. Mm -hmm. And Wrath even rated for the perfect moment to come oh, out of shield. Man. Up air into the back air. And the spring, once again, this is a bad situation where Kobe has his jump available to recover. Good recovery from Kobe. Wrath not able to capitalize off of that disadvantage state, but stuck on the platform. The neutral get up reaction. And he will find that back air. Wrath now up two stocks to one, I think, in the, maybe the quickest game we've had so far last. That was just one long disadvantage state for Kobe, unfortunately for him. Wrath now on the verge of closing this out. It, I hate calling matches before they end, but it's so difficult to break any sort of defensive Sonic game plan when yeah. you're down by this much. You have to risk so much to do it, mm -hmm. and more often than not, it will not go your way. It's very true, but Kobe luckily does have projecti projectiles to deal with the Sonic for him instead of having to overcommit. The thing is, though, if you only hit projectiles, how much damage is that really doing? You have to be able to find some strong hits, and he does find a Nair at the very least, but needs at least 30 more, 40 more, 50 more percent to find a stock onto Wrath here. Yeah, those projectiles do damage, but certainly not enough to make this comeback. Certainly not this far down. But Kobe's going to have to go for them anyway because he just doesn't have a better option in this matchup. So he's going to keep trying it. The bomb pops, puts him in a bad spot, and Wrath's going to capitalize 54%, 62, and now he's at the ledge. Mm -hmm, but Kobe able to plant his feet firmly on that Pokeball in the center, throwing out lots of neutral Bs, beginning to put this Sonic into kill percent. we got to find this stock quickly because Wrath's beginning to run away with it. Watch out for the spring. Do we have our jump? Yes, we do. We're able to tether back. I like that. The drag down with the forward air just to make sure it's safe, safe enough to confirm into the down tilt, but Kobe still looking for something. That's spin oh. dash. Is that going to be enough? Not quite. Not just yet. Wrath might have to play Toho for a little bit longer because oh. the bomb pops Kobe We're not up. Making it not back. high enough. And so with that, Wrath not only moves on into top eight of Momocon 2024, but also makes sure that, well, 75% of winners is Georgia. Indeed. Good stuff to Georgia really showing it up at this event in their home turf, as they should, you know, but respect to Wrath to be able to take it over Kobe. Kobe playing excellently so far in this tournament and still in losers, so we will see him again. Yeah, absolutely. He's the one who put light down into the loser's side of bracket. He's still a massive threat, not just to make top eight, but maybe even to take it all the way. A little hiccup in the road to the final, 